Right, hello everyone, welcome back to Fairy Sports. As you can see, we are in, uh, got in today, and uh, weather is a lot better than what we saw uh, over the weekend. So it's supposed to be very cold this week. Ireland traveling down today as well. So we are especially into match week two. Um, some interesting news throughout the day, by the way. Um, expecting to have a more formal update, but looks like both Craig Casey and Dan Sheehan uh, said to be out for the second test, uh, Dan Sheehan potentially rupturing his ACL, which should put him out for a number of months. So, yeah, very unfortunate news about that. A massive blow that to Ireland. And Craig Casey, obviously, with that um, concussion, also expected to miss the second test, which is on Saturday at uh, Kings Park. We will be there tomorrow. Uh, Springbok team announcement today is tomorrow, as well as training and stuff like that. So, we'll be able to do a bit of a check in in camp. And, uh, I don't think we're going to see too many changes, to be honest, um, from Vasily Erasmus. Kenny Moody expected to be fit for this week. Um, are I surprised, really, if we see him uh, come in? I don't really see where you slot him in, for example. I don't think you're going to drop either of Chesney Colby, Kurt Lawrence. So you're not going to put him on uh, the bench either ahead of somebody like Sasha Feynman, Govan Zulu. So I pretty much expect much of the same. Um, in terms of uh, the weekend's reaction, obviously a lot of chat about the referees. Interestingly enough, Yako Paper. Uh, faced the media today and uh, was asked about the whole refereeing. Didn't give too much away, but basically said that uh, he didn't really have an issue with the TMO interventions and the calls. Always interesting now, going to be having that aspect every single Monday after a game, going to be able to speak to a former referee in the Springbok camp, get his sort of views and stuff on that. Um, so that's going to be offer us quite an interesting sort of um, lens into the Bok camp and how things are going. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe as well. Smash a like on this video. We're going to be having updates throughout the week down in Durban. Um, so, very cool to be here. I've got the sand between my toes. And uh, as always, going to bring you all the coverage throughout the week on the ground. You all will have the press conference up from Rassi Rassus when he does and his team for the second test. We'll be live as well for the team announcement. And uh, yeah, press conferences coming from both camps, interviews as well throughout the week. And uh, lots of extra content, obviously, on match day. So, if you are new, I said welcome to the channel. If anybody else has any questions to ask uh, or to answer on the live show tomorrow, get them in the comments, and we'll go through that. And uh, yeah, let's get ready for a massive test ahead. Um, yeah, is it going to be two one? I mean, two nil, one one. Big test at the moment. Obviously, the box can't lose the test series. We can draw it. So, still a reasonable amount to prove uh, this coming weekend. Loftus was. A massive step forward and a massive result for the box but a 2-0 would be a massive statement and really really hit home the fact that they really are the best team on the planet at the moment thank you much for tuning in my name is steve and we'll see you soon